You'll be doing some revising this morning, then. Will I? If you've any sense. It's geography mum, it's a doddle. No exam is a doddle. It's all been dumbed down. And you'd know all about that, would you? Population and settlements, right? GCSE mock. Explain how park and ride works. It's easy. Well, they can't all be that easy. Study this photograph of a library. Explain why it's situated in the centre of town. So you'll be getting an A-star then, will you? Yeah, well, they think we're all cretins. So what are you going to do? Lie on the settee all morning watching television? Mum, I'm doing the exam. I don't be telling me how to prepare for it as well. This is useless. I'm off. Yeah, me too. Hey, I'm going past your school. Didn't time for you at a lift. Yeah, OK. Just after one, yeah? I'll be ready. Thanks, Jason. No worries. Right then. So, rather you than me, and then much cop at geography. You found yourself here, didn't you? So, will you get a C for just doing that? What happened to the revolution? What? Oh, did mummy threaten to stop you being her? <laughs> right, I'll see you later, yeah? Good luck then. I thought that you were never coming back in again. Well, I just got bored, didn't I? Jason dragged you here more like. If he wants to be my chauffeur, he can. Oh, you're all mouth for you. I said you'd be back. Well, why not? I kind of like geography. Rare honour, David. Is there anyone who doesn't have an examination paper? Put your hand up now. Right. You have one hour, 15 minutes. Time starts now. I think he just might have turned a corner. Right, time's up. Stop working, please. Pens and pencils down now. I did not say start talking. Put your completed papers on your desk and stay quiet till we've collected them in. David? What are you doing? Miss! <laughs> Miss Lubbock, my exam paper is on fire. Think about leaving. <laughs> David Clark, you come back here this instant. <laughs> what the hell just happened in there? I just fulfilled a burning ambition. You're in so much trouble. Like I care. Catch you in the real world, Amber. your face right now. You never went to that exam. Oh, he went all right. I've seen the chaos to prove it. You turned up. You stayed till the end. Yeah, it'd have been rude not to. How could you set fire to your exam paper? I, um, sort of lit it. Is that all you've got to say for yourself, David? Whoops. I have to say, Mrs. Platt, I am at an utter loss regarding your son. Welcome to our world. 
Could you not do the exam? Is that what it was? Oh, don't make excuses for him, Gabe. The questions were a joke. Any old moron could answer them. It's unbelievable. It's not the slightest remorse. Why don't come over all innocent with me, Gran? You burnt your bra back in the day. Don't push it, David. So, you're saying that this was some bizarre form of protest? No, just did it for a laugh. Oh, you need help. So what happens now? Well, I'm afraid David's actions have forced my hand. As of now, he is excluded from school. As you can see, I'm really choked. And what about his other exams? Well, he can still sit them. Providing he sign and abide by a behaviour contract. Behaviour contract? It's like an Asbo light. Oh, uh, and you lot say I'm weird. David, come back here. I will need David's signature on this by tomorrow night at the latest. You'll get it first thing. Signed in blood, if needs be. Sign it. Can I read it first? I will ensure that my behaviour conforms to guidelines as defined in the school's charter. Fair enough. Further breaches of discipline or behaviour deemed unacceptable will result in immediate exclusion from the school. That seems a bit hard, doesn't it? David. Nah. I'm sorry, Mum, but it infringes my human rights. David, I'm warning you. You can't make me sign it, Mum. No one can. David, you have no I. I'm just about ready to wash my hands of you. You can. Love's a bitch that way. You're throwing your life away! Why do you have to be so negative all the time? I'm being proactive, Mum. I've made a choice. You're gonna regret this for the rest of your life! But it is my life! It's better to burn it up than fade away.